Hey, how are you today? I'm well, how are you? Good. I'm Derm. I'm Lori. And this is... Neurobeats. Kind of a remote Neurobeats. Remote Neurobeats. Because we can't be with you in person, we figured it'd be fun just to send you some loving. So, shall we begin? I think so. So, there might be some of you that don't have percussion, you know, shakers and stuff at home. And so we decided to see if we could figure out how to help. What do you got, Lori? So there are all kinds of possibilities that somebody can find at home to use. Simple enough, a pair of wooden spoons. Ooh, that brings back bad memories when I was a kid, but oh. we, we won't talk about that. How about you? Me? Oh, I've got, uh, oh, I picked up some gum the other day. It's a little loud, but if you do it kind of quietly, so hey, that's something easy. Or you can always make your own with a plastic bottle that you might have at home and some rice or dry beans or popcorn, dry popcorn. Just put a little in there. How about millet? Would millet work? I think millet might be too quiet, but oh. it's worth a try because millet is a wonderful seed to eat. Um, There's always, if you don't have a drum, how about a cardboard box? How about something like... Easy, right? I know plenty of people who have learned how to drum on a box or a book or a pretzel toe. So there's a lot of things around that you can use for rhythm. Not to mention, but we will, the possibility of, okay, of <laughs> lids from your pan. And depending on the size, you're going to get a different sound, lighter, higher, lower. It smells enough. like macaroni and cheese. I love it. Or you can use silverware. Listen to this. What a beautiful little sound that is. Experiment, you know? Pull some stuff out of drawers and experiment for yourself. See what you've got. I like these, too. with it. Walk but around and I, see. I think one of the most important percussion instruments in the world is the chicken. <laughs> it's kind of, it's there. Or the little pink guy. So if you have a couple of those little dog uh, toys around, just grab them and you can throw them work. in. Yep. It'll work. Don't forget your hands. Your voice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we love it. So, Neurobeats is a, a group that we started for people with uh, ailments of the brain PTSD, um, Alzheimer's, stroke, um, uh, traumatic brain injury. So, we wanted to bring this to you because, you know, it's been a week since we, a week or two since we've seen you, and it's probably going to be a week or two before we see you again. So, here you got something you can. Play at home and have all kinds of fun. Yeah, play along, take a few tips maybe, and, and practice it by yourself without having to use the video. I like that. So to begin with, we're going to do one drum, which some of you who've been in our group before will know. Um, it's a very simple drum beat to do, and it's very unifying, settling, um, it's very peaceful, helps relieve anxieties. Your brain gets entrained while you're playing the rhythm so that the rest of you is freed up to sort of have play time and relax. Um, it's very simple. We're going to play at about the speed of a 60 minute stopwatch, which is maybe four beats per second. So we'll play together for about two minutes. And then, um, you know, I'll do some, a little bit of guidance through that with your, with your breath and um, relaxing your body and then we'll quiet it down and move down to your thighs and then when we finish we'll just take a minute to, to just have silence in that beautiful piece that you've created. Ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. Whatever you're using for your drum 
and maybe it's your legs, your thighs, and that's perfect too. Feel free to close your eyes, and if that's uncomfortable for you, don't. But I'll still guide you with my voice. Take a nice deep breath to start. volume down about halfway. So keep drumming, but a little more quietly. One more good deep breath in. your hands come down to your thighs. Continue drumming on your thighs. And let him come to rest as you're ready with a nice deep, last deep breath in. And exhale. Let yourself rest in this lovely peace that you've created for yourself. When you're ready, you can allow your eyes to open softly. this at any time and you still feel you have some anxiety left to release or stress, do it again. Do another round. We'll build on each other and take you deeper into relaxation. That's a good one even to use during the day if you get stressed out. Just It's a, it's a great exercise. <clears throat> well, you said we do a little... Um, I play, I play, you play. play. Yeah, what do you think? Do you want this one or uh, take your pick on the drums? I'm going to use my, my djembe. So if you do have a drum, um, you know that in the middle is the bass, right? And it's a flat hand, you're going to hit the drum and bring it up, and it's going to be about the same for a box or a yeah. book, right? I'm going to use the book to show you how easy it is. And then there's also the, the tone, and the tone is on the edge. Right, perfect. Okay, so let's get started. 
I play, and then you guys play. So I'll leave space for you guys to play. So, ready? You want to get your body in there too as you're listening. Don't be afraid to do that. It's good for you. Hey. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> there we go. Good. I hope you followed along. Uh, kind of a fun thing to do. Um, what would we like to do next? How about just a creative, spontaneous drum? You can start a nice rhythm and then everybody can play along in whatever way they want, whether it's with a drum, a drum, percussion that you might have otherwise, and maybe you have other percussion instruments at home. If not, you can uh, certainly use one of these handy dandy ideas. We, we have to hurry up with this video because this is dinner. And I am offering a reward. If anybody finds my mustache, it's worth $17, so 17. it's up, the, the value's going up every day. So, um, so I'll get a rhythm going, you guys throw in whatever you want to throw in, or just sit back and listen, and try to get your body into it, you know? As you're listening to the music, it'll take a, a minute or so for you to get the groove, and, but as you're feeling it, it's okay to move, and the best part is you're home. Nobody's going to see it if you want to get up and dance. So that's I it. wish I could see if you got up and dance. I love that. It's good for you. And the movement is helpful in your body as far as feeling that rhythm. It, it kind of gets your own rhythm coming up to the surface a little bit. That's an excellent thing to do. So play along.
Try to get fancy and I goof up. Oops. Well done. How about, uh, what, what would you like to offer? Hmm, how about if we did, um, what if we did stood up for a little bit? So, we're going to do something along the same line. This is, it's uh, called body percussion, and it's a good way to, you know, get moving and 
stand up and kind of stretch out a little bit. So the way I do it is I have there's certain spots on my body I'm going to touch, right? And there's names for them. So there's goon and doon. Goon, doon. Goon is in the goonies. Goon is in the goonies. So it's goon, doon, goon, doon, goon, doon, goon, doon, goon, doon, goon, doon, goon, doon. My feet. Three, two, one. Yeah, you can move your feet. Get moving into it. So that's goon and doon. The next ones we have is go and do. Now, go and do is on the stomach. Just don't do it too hard because you get a stomach ache. And especially after lunch is not a good time to be wailing away. So it's go, do, go, do, go, go, do, do, go, do, go, do, go, go, do, do, go, do, go, do, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we got goon, doon, go, do, goon, doon, go, do. Let's learn another one. Pa and ta, so pa, ta, okay? Pa, ta, pa, ta. Let's get creative, let's do it like this. Pa, ta, pa, ta. Four, three, two, one, and my assistant stopped a little early. So try to do what I'm doing. So we'll, we'll get the pattern going for a little while. So goon, doon, go, 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 goon, doon, go. We got moving a little bit, got some exercise in. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Want to do a chant or you want to do, do a little toning? Yes. A little toning. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do a uh, again. Some of you who've, who've done in person groups with us before have experienced doing the Om chant, um, toning, and it's help that vibration when you're toning is helpful to different aspects in your body. Um, you'll notice, especially maybe in your sinuses and your throat and, and jaw kind of thing, maybe if you have a headache sometimes, it helps release that. Do you want to explain about the different sounds? Sure. So what we're going to do is we're going to break the word OM into four syllables. Ah, the letter A, and that sounds kind of like this. 
Ah, O sounds kind of like O. <laughs> o, U is U. U. Can, U. U. You can feel it right down there. U. You can feel the vibration right here. And then the last syllable is M. So the letter M. And you want to close your mouth. Put your tongue up on the top of your, the roof of your mouth, and let that go. So, mm, so it's ah, oh, ooh, um, ah, is what it sounds like if you put it all together. So it's ah, oh, ooh, um. There's that little space. We have a little bit of time and we want you to get all that breath out of your lungs. So after the mmm, we want you to do a <sighs> So if there's any extra air there, get it out of your lungs so you can bring in a fresh gasp of good, fresh, clean air. So we'll get a little rhythm going. Also, um, with the mmm, sometimes it's, it's interesting to have your teeth together and then move them apart and feel the difference in where that vibration happens, whether it's in your jaw or farther up. Play with it in whichever, whichever place feels like you need it the most. Do that. Do it that way. Yeah, that's good. If you get migraines or if you have, um, uh, you're allergic, especially down here now, all the pollen's dropping, that's a good one to get the snap going in your head. So don't be afraid to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, we used to do that as kids, you know, um, and now nobody does it. So start doing it. It's good, healthy stuff. So this one, however you're singing, is fantastic. It doesn't matter what key. It really doesn't. It's all just about being together. If, you're, if you want, you can drum. Once you hear the rhythm, you can drum with us. Or you can tone, you know, and sing. Or you don't have to do any. Or you can do both. So. And the, the sound, the tone that you end up, that comes from you, if you just let it come, whatever it is, it's going to be the tone that's the best for you right now. It has the vibration that's really going to help your system right now. So don't worry, it doesn't have to sound like it matches what we're doing at all. We don't even match what we do together a lot of times because that's not what we're going for. It's your personal sound that's helping you heal. So go for it.
That was good. I hope you enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Really got some things moving in my sinuses and throat area and even cleared out a couple clouds in my brain. Nice. Hey, what do you say we played the Rob Bast and we could do another little kind of meditational kind of thing here tonight? So we're going to do that. So right now we're going to say goodbye and thank you uh, before we start the other uh, pan pan. So that at the end of that session you can be uninterrupted if you're in a deep relaxation or meditation state. Um, the video will just naturally turn off and you can uh, do with that what you want. Either take a little nap or stay in your meditation or whatever. Thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to doing this again with you sometime. And seeing you. <laughs> yes. Be well. Thank you.